Southern Canadian Coins in with another video. So I went through some pennies today for the first time in a while. I actually found some pretty nice pennies. There was a 59 Lincoln penny. It's like a dark red brown. Nothing too spectacular. I also found this uh, 76 that's uh, pretty off-centered. I'll show that under the camera at the very end. I also found a pretty nice 68 to put to my typeset of uh, 68 coinage. Some rock doves, some 64s. One of the cooler ones was this uh, 1940. It's like heavily corroded. That's King George right there. And the bank teller also gave me some 50 cent pieces and some large dollars. That's a 80, that's a 75. There's two 78 50 cent pieces and a centennial half dollar, which is pretty sweet. And when I was getting back from uh, the convenience store, now that I'm dropping my money all over the place, making it less nice, I happen to have gotten a 68 uh, silver dime back in the change. And I, didn't, and I noticed it on the way out, and I was like, cool, sweet, a silver dime. Making the day a little bit more awesome. And it's going to get even more cooler because I cracked open one of these rolls a little earlier. And there was a bunch of uh, commemorative uh, quarters in these uh, style rolls that someone brought in. So maybe they'll bring back a silver quarter or something cool. And there's a lot of quarter rolls here. So let's get right into this one and see what's inside. That one's looking a little silvery, but I don't think it actually is, so, yeah. It's just one of those commemorative quarters that can throw you off. Oh, there's a United States one. From 65, unfortunately, but there's a lot of American quarters in here, so, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, commemoratives and stuff like that, so I'm getting a collection dump today. Got some pretty uh, interesting stuff. Maybe I'll find a W for once. Now that would be pretty crazy if I found a W here in Canada. Making its way all the way down here. I think there's like some women's hockey. Stuff like that. So... Nothing too spectacular. There's some American. So I'm going to go through these four see through rolls right here because they have a bunch of American in it too. And I'll call you guys back in if I happen to find something like that. So I'm going through these rolls. There's no silver, but it's like I said, there's like a bunch of these uh, commemorative quarters and stuff like that from different countries. Not countries, but parts of provin provinces and uh, different time periods. There's uh, Alberta. I have to check all of these off camera because uh, there's so many of them. And I need to check if there's uh, any mules. It'd be really cool if I could uh, find a mule. Maybe one of these days I will. So. I'm going to go through these, and I'll call you guys back in if I happen to find anything in these rolls. Tonight's been a good night. I'm on the final two rolls, and I have a feeling there's going to be a bit, but I also did happen to find an extra quarter and a dime in the third final roll, and I'm basically up changed 60 cents, and I have a bunch of this American. Unfortunately, there wasn't really much in the commemorative dump other than those fancy quarters. No mules or varieties or silver or anything like that, but let's see if there's anything in the final two rolls. Overall, I still got silver today in change at a variety store, so that's pretty sweet. Is there going to be anything in these final two rolls? Huh, I didn't even notice that. There was a nickel on the bottom in this one. Huh. <laughs> how that happened. 
So there's the nickel. Didn't realize that. And there's some commemoratives. It's always good to check those. So much of anything else. Anyways, because I'm really curious. Huh, an extra 30 cents. Sweet. So that's going to make it about 90 cents extra. And the final roll. If I don't find silver, that's okay. Well, there's American Ender. So, let's see what's in the final roll. I'm not seeing silver. No, not tonight. That one looks like one, but it's not. It's just an 86, so. I'm gonna go through these. I'll probably find a couple extra changing quarters and I'll call you guys back in so I would say this is a pretty good hunt we got some silver back and change today even had the bank tell us give me some 50 cent pieces and uh, large dollar coins got some pennies back and then I happen to find some like rock doves here's a more nicer one I even got back uh, 68, that was pretty nice. And there was also another one that was pretty nice. Here's a pretty nice 64. It's got some splotches on it, so that could probably give it a little bit of environmental damage, but it's still more or less a nice penny to find. So. And in total in American, in terms of quarters, a dollar, I mean, a ten fifty, not dollar fifty, ten fifty, which is quite impressive to be honest. And I was upchanged a dollar forty, which is going to put my grand total up to eleven fifty five, which is pretty sweet in my personal opinion. So I would say that in this hunt overall is a pretty good one. It definitely paid for the bus fare, fares and stuff like that there and back, so more or less happy for that. I'll get the exchange rate for this down the road, considering that my American is growing exponentially. And now I have about half a bank of box quarters to basically bring back to the bank tomorrow and rinse and repeat the process. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little hunt. Nothing too super exciting, like super errors or varieties, but I really like when people watch my videos and they get a little bit of enjoyment seeing what I can possibly find, so like and subscribe for more videos down the road, you know what they say guys, happy hunting, stay tuned.